In this lecture, we will discuss Wolf Kishner reduction of aldehydes and ketones. It can be defined as reduction of carbonyl group of aldehydes and ketones to methylene group by heating their hydrozones or semicarbozones in the presence of strong base. We have already discussed that aldehydes or ketones on treatment with hydrazine form hydrozone. This hydrozone, when heated with strong base, reduces carbonyl group into methylene group. When we use sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide as base, the solvent used is ethylene glycol. Whereas if potassium tertiary butoxide is used as base, then solvent used is dimethyl sulfoxide, DMSO. To understand the mechanism, consider this hydrozone. The hydrogen attached to NH2 is reasonably acidic, pK about 21, and can be deprotonated by a strong base at a high enough temperature. Thus the first step in mechanism is deprotonated nitrogen. This forms an intermediate with negative charge on nitrogen. This intermediate is resonance stabilized because the negatively charged nitrogen is adjacent to imine double bond. In the second step, this resonance stabilized intermediate is protonated at carbon. This gives a species with a nitrogen nitrogen double bond. Then the second proton from nitrogen is also abstracted by base, forming an intermediate with negative charge on nitrogen. This intermediate formed loses a molecule of nitrogen gas irreversibly to form a carbanion. This carbanion is then protonated to generate the product. Thus carbonyl group is converted into methylene group. The five reaction steps can be remembered easily, that is, deprotonation at nitrogen, protonation at carbon, deprotonation at nitrogen, loss of nitrogen gas, and protonation at carbon. The evolution of nitrogen gas renders this step irreversible and forces the reaction to completion. As an example, consider the cyclohexanone. On treatment with hydrazine, it forms hydrazone. This upon heating with potassium tertiary butoxide base and DMSO solvent changes carbonyl into methylene group with loss of N2 gas. Similarly, this ketone upon treatment with hydrazine form hydrazone, which is then subjected to heating in the presence of KOH and ethylene glycol to form this reduced product wherein carbonyl group has changed into methylene group upon loss of N2 molecule. Same here, this ketone reacts with hydrazine to form corresponding hydrazone. This upon heating with base KOH in ethylene glycol solvent loses a molecule of N2 gas to form this reduced product. This camphor molecule, on treatment with hydrazine and then KOH base in ethylene glycol solvent, reduces the carbonyl group into methylene group. Benzene on treatment with n butylacyl chloride, in the presence of aluminium chloride, undergoes friedel craft acylation to attach n butylacyl group on benzene. This upon treatment with hydrazine form hydrazone. Further heating with KOH base in ethylene glycol solvent reduces carbonyl into methylene group with loss of N2 gas. This step is Wolf Kishner reduction. Semicarbazones are first converted to hydrazones before subjecting to Wolf Kishner reduction. For example, this semicarbazone is first hydrolyzed into hydrazone. This is then subjected to heating with KOH base in ethylene glycol solvent to change into methylene group with loss of N2 gas. Wolf-Kishner reduction is preferred because unlike Clemenson reduction, 
This reaction doesn't fail with acid-sensitive and high molecular weight substrates. wolf kishner reduction is specific for the reduction of carbonyl groups only, because other functional groups in the substrate remain unaffected. However, this reduction is not suitable for alpha-beta unsaturated ketones. Application of wolf kishner reduction in introduction of straight-chain alkyl group in aromatic ring. For example, if we have to introduce n-pentyl group on benzene, we might think of friedel crafts alkylation. But it is not possible because a straight-chain alkyl group longer than ethyl group cannot be introduced to an aromatic ring by friedel crafts alkylation because of rearrangement of alkyl group. For example, if we attempt this synthesis via friedel crafts alkylation by treating benzene with n-pentyl chloride in the presence of AlCl3, the primary carbocation formed, will immediately rearrange to more stable secondary carbocation by 1,2 hydrogen shift. Therefore, product of this reaction will be like this. An alternate way to achieve synthesis of n-pentyl benzene is by treating benzene with n-butylacyl chloride in the presence of AlCl3, that is, friedel crafts acylation, to form n-butylphenyl ketone. This can then be subjected to wolf kishner reduction to convert carbonyl into methylene group with loss of N2 gas. Thus N-pentyl benzene can be synthesized. Another application is reversal of polarity of a group on aromatic ring. For example, this carbonyl is meta-directing. Therefore, chlorination in presence of FeCl3 gives metachlorinated product. Whereas the alkyl group of this compound obtained after Wolf Kishner reduction is ortho paradirecting. Therefore, chlorination in presence of FeCl3 gives parachlorinated product and ortho chlorinated product. Thus, reduction reverses the polarity of the substituent attached to benzene ring.